Hey guys, we have another book review. Today we have Clean Code by Uncle Bob or Robert Martin, depending on what you know him by. Uh, this was an excellent read and um, I'm, I'm really excited to be reviewing it. I really enjoyed it. Let me tell you why. I want to thank our sponsor for this video, Dev Mountain. You can check them out at devmountain.com. Are you in Provo, Utah, Salt Lake City, Dallas, or Phoenix? If you are, you should swing by and check out their four wonderful campuses. Not only that, even if you aren't in one of those cities, did you know Dev Mountain provided housing with their tuition for free? So no matter where you are, if you want to put in the time and the effort, you can get up and go and get started today. Check them out at devmountain.com. So uh, let me start off by saying that uh, if you're interested in this book, there's a link in the description to get it on Amazon. You can help me out with a little bit of affiliate money and uh, probably Uncle Bob as well. So what is Clean Code about? Well, Clean Code uh, has actually inspired my series Code Like a Pro. Um, this year, I've been studying on the learning path of not really learning technologies because that sort of happens right at, at the workplace, but um, about stepping my code level up, writing more professionally, uh, becoming a better developer in that stance and clean code has been a real big proponent of how to do that how to be a professional developer not in terms of like getting a job but what it means really what does it mean to be a professional uh, developer and um, you know how we can write code to do so so um, clean code I would say I enjoyed about 80% of this book and about 20% of it was eh, whatever uh, and that 20% are sort of the hard coding examples there's like this one section where there's two chapters that are uh, and before I go into that I want to say that this book doesn't is sort of language agnostic the principles that are in clean code really are about about more of a, a approach to software development and um, then it is about a individual technology. Now there is the technology of choice used in this book for code examples is Java. Uh, you don't need to be familiar with Java in there, but um, I did find that the bulk of what I found valuable was in the short snippets of code where it's like, you know, maybe 10 lines of code as an example, another 10 lines of code um, and in the context. There's one section that's like 50 pages long and 35 of it is like code examples. Uh, so it's a little bit too much in my personal opinion to, um, to, to sort of follow along in a book section. But that the rest of the book is just gold. It's just one of those must read books for any software developer at least once in their lifetime. And you can easily take five or 10 principles away from this and start applying it to write um, better uh, more and by better code we mean uh, cleaner uh, readable maintainable and testable code that's really the objective to writing um, code like a professional um, code like a pro as we quote our series right <laughs> uh, uh, in the back of the book um, there's about a hundred pages or so of you know there's it's about 15 16 17 chapters I forget the exact amount but at the end, the last 100 pages is sort of short blurbs, if you will, of about a page apiece, sometimes half a page of just examples, examples about comments, examples about functions, examples. I found that quite helpful because it had, you some, it had something to reference. And it was almost like, okay, we read these 250 pages before. What did we really learn or what was the objective? And in the back, it's like, okay, here's 100 things bullet point by bullet point in each section about how you can start bettering your 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 um, you know your architecture your your software writing capabilities how we can level up our game Clico was really um, really great in that aspect so who is who is this book for well um, you know I've, I've told you what it is and um, I'm, I'm very happy with what it is so who's it for well it's for the people who are going to, who are looking to write code professionally. It's for the people who are looking to write cleaner software and actually going to take actions on it, right? So, um, you know, you don't have to be a developer yet to read Clean Code. And a matter of fact, I recommend if you're a developer, you haven't read it, you read it. And I recommend if you're an aspiring developer to read it because the quicker you can sort of navigate some of these bad tendencies that we all have, the, the quicker that you know you can write nice code that's going to impress people on those algorithms it's going to impress people on those take-home projects and 
you can excel with it. So Clean Code is is sort of a book that I encourage you to check out. Uh, I think it's like twenty thirty dollars on Amazon. It's not that bad. Um, it covers it covers um, testing. Um, you know, not only how to write tests or, or like why tests are important, but test driven development. So you might get introduced to concepts like that. It covers, um, you know, uh, why, when and where to use comments and when and where not to, right? Which is just as important um, and why. So I, I always enjoy uh, a good book will tell you how to do something, when to do something and why to do something. And this book goes to that, that extra mile and does say why. I also say there's a little bit of humor in it. Uh, let me see if I can find something real quick. So like each chapter starts with like a little a little like like joke thing. I don't know if you can see that, but basically, uh, so it's it's written in, in a way to be very entertaining. Sometimes you read some of these software books and they're very dry. Um, I would say for the most part, this is a, a fun read, a educating read, and there is one or two dry sections uh, in the last chapters. And that's probably my biggest gripe with it is there's about two or uh, the last two or three chapters kind of felt like it just got thrown in there. Like, hey, I had, I don't know, I don't really know what book I want to put this in, <laughs> and um, it's not to say that it's not related, um, but it, it felt like almost like a different author had jumped in here. I'm not saying that's what happened, but it's somehow slightly different than the rest of the book, um, and um, I'm not quite sure why. Uh, it is, it is helpful, but it's probably the section I enjoyed the least. Um, but it was. It was kind of odd. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, so it's going to cover functions, variables, testing, pretty much everything in terms of software development, all the stuff that's standard amongst languages. And that's why I say, even though the, the code examples are in Java, you'll still be able to understand it. You'll still be able to see, okay, this is a for loop, this is an if statement. You know, there's descriptions that go along with all these things so that you can, you can have a, a clear and understandable explanation regardless of if you know Java or not. Um, so at the end of the day, I'd recommend this book for pretty much anyone to pick up, read one time, uh, maybe more, to remind themselves. If you're not a book guy, Uncle Bob actually has his own series where he's sort of a uh, clean code series. I think it was like $10 a video and he has like 100 videos. They're about an hour long. So you can check that out as well. We watch them at my uh, work once a week uh, during a lunch, a lunch and learn sort of the situation. And um some of them are very fun. Some of them are kind of dry, uh, but uh, it's uh, he tries his best to make them fun and interesting. Uh, but I enjoyed his book much more than I enjoyed his video. Sorry, sorry, Uncle Bob. Not to say your videos are bad, but your book, I think, is top of the line. So uh, I highly recommend you check it out. Again, there's a link in the description. Uh, let me know what you think. If you've read Clean Code, go ahead and uh, tell us in the, the comments below what you thought about it and uh, how it may or may not have helped you. I'm sure it did. Um, I have found it very helpful, and I can I can say having implemented this and my just looking back at my code just six months ago, I can see the, the progression in terms of how my code has become better and how it has become cleaner, more maintainable, testable, all that sort of stuff. So uh, as always, guys, oh, and of course, we still have our official bookmark of the book review series that my very sassy girlfriend made. So uh, with that being said, guys, thank you so much. I will see you in the next video, hopefully. Uh, don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, share, hit that notification bell so you can know when I'm live and uh, check out the Brooklyn Code if you, you feel like uh, leveling up a bit. See you next time, bye. So Victor here um, is asking about the peripherals I use, such as like mouse and keyboards. And um, this is one of those things that don't doesn't matter. Um, a lot of people try and thinking like, oh man, if I only had a better laptop, if I, you know, only had a better computer, you know, an extra, a better mouse, better keyboard, an extra monitor might be the only thing that helps have, but even then it's not stopping you. Um, so don't worry about, about long typing sessions on a, on a keyboard. My keyboard was $20 from Costco, right? Um, something special. These aren't things that matter. These aren't things that you need to worry about. Just worry about putting the time, the effort, and the energy into learning code. The the you know the mouses, the keyboards, the type of computer. Most of the time, none of that stuff matters. It's all about the effort and the time and the energy.
Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. Hope you subscribed and hit that notification bell. Check out my latest course, the 100 Algorithms Challenge, where we go through 100 different algorithms in JavaScript and TypeScript so that you can ace your next JavaScript coding interview. You can get it in the description for just $9.99. Check it out. See you next time. Thanks for watching.